think bail amount is going over tonight. Plus, now this may sound like a regular bus engine. I'm Tiffany DeLeon. Tonight, I'll tell you what it really runs off of. Month, the neon glow of the strip was dimmed for Earth Hour, and today we celebrate Earth Day. And the RTC used the occasion to show off something really cool. If you remember a few years back, the Saving You Money team brought you the grease car. Well, now the RTC has a grease bus. Tiffany DeLeon has more on the one-of-a-kind ride. At first glance, this may look like your traditional transit bus. However, with a closer look, you can see this bus has gone green. Unique to Las Vegas, the 40-foot grease bus made its debut surprising 12-year-old Ralph Pengleman. I'm really excited. And 15-year-old Kiana Spengler. Out of all these people, mine won. With their artwork displayed on each side of the bus. We're thrilled that we were able to do this on Earth Day. And we partnered with the local school district to have a contest with the kids. We picked two very creative um, entries. Deputy General Manager for the RTC, Tina Quigley, says the Grease Bus is a precursor for sustainability efforts as it runs on 10% waste vegetable oil mixed with diesel. We actually are able to get oil directly from our partners at the Palms Hotel. We filter it and it is poured directly into our Grease Bus. You can rethink the way we do things. We don't have to continue doing things the same way. Jenna Morton, Director of Community Relations for Nine Steakhouse at the Palms, believes the large message on the side of the bus will draw attention to alternatives that are already available to us. It's no longer just reduce, reuse, recycle. It's rethink, repower find a different way to get things done. Right now, the grease bus is only used for training purposes. However, they do hope it is successful so they can take that vegetable oil and use it on others in their fleet. Tiffany DeLeon, News 3. And by the way, behind the scenes here, it's not sheer coincidence that we had a grease car. Now the RTC has a grease bus. Nick the Archangel is the guy who made it happen here, and he works for the RTC now. He's not publicly taking credit for this great idea, but then he never did around here either.